Uncharted is Hollywood's latest attempt to make video games into movies. And I gotta say, personally, I actually thought that this movie did a pretty good job. Do I think this movie is going to set any records at all? No. So I am fairly confident that this film is going to go down as one of the better video game movie adaptations of all time, or it is going to be just forgotten to time because people don't care about it. Now, I say this movie's pretty good, I'm talking in comparison to a lot of other video game movies. Because, <laughs> we've all seen plenty, plenty of bad video game adaptations. Here are just a few of them on screen. Overall, I think this movie actually did a very good job. Now, I will put this out there. I have not played any of the Uncharted games. So, I don't really know what these characters' personalities in the games are. I can only speak as to how I think the actors did playing the characters as we see them in the film. And all of them, in my opinion, did a very good job. As Drake is presented in the film, a young adventure type person who just wants to find out really what happened to his brother and find different treasures that him and his brother were interested in when they were younger, I think the movie does a fantastic job uh, portraying him as that, and Tom Holland did a fantastic job of playing that aspect of the character. I think that Mark Wahlberg played his character Sully very well given what we're told him to be in the film. In the film, Sully is presented as a very money-hungry, I'll-do-anything-to-get-the-treasure type of person, and Mark Wahlberg does a fantastic job playing the character that way. And honestly, those are the two main standouts for me. I think the other characters played their roles very well as well. Antonio Banderas plays a fantastic villain in the film. The actress playing Chloe, whose name I cannot remember right now, I think she played a fantastic foil and character to play off of for Tom Holland's Nathan Drake. Uh, the main adversary, as I would refer to them, because I don't know what else to call them right now. What I mean by that, the person that like the characters are actually fighting. Main grunt of the villains. There we go. I thought that she played an absolutely fantastic job and did her job playing that character extremely well. Especially given that she's supposed to have a history with Sully and I think they'd managed to play that up pretty well overall. Now, this is a video game adaptation, so some of the major downsides of that do plague this film, where certain moments kind of feel like they're glossed over for the sake of continuing the plot. So there are a couple moments that feel, I don't know, forced to me. Like, there's a character death at one point in the film that just feels very out of nowhere and very out of place for when it happens and what else is happening leading up to that because it just comes out of nowhere like that there's a point where a character suddenly betrays them because reasons which feels again forced because i feel like they're trying to adhere partially to a video game plot. I will say, some of the cinematography is absolutely fantastic in this film. There are a lot of really good shots in it, and honestly, the moments when they are using CGI, because there are quite a few of those, especially in the scene where they're flying two ships around the fucking Philippines on helicopters. You saw that in the trailer. Yeah, the CG looked great. Everything looked extremely realistic, and I'm fairly confident that a lot of that scene when they were actually on the ship, was filmed on a set made to look like the ships. CG was used very sparingly, only to enhance certain shots or make them look. It is extremely invisible in the film, and that's how it should be in this kind of movie, in my opinion. Again, the only major shots that I can think of being used for CG were most likely the ships, and even then, I honestly can't find it on the internet, and this could be me just very poorly looking, if they were CG or not. This movie also had a lot of really good stunt work, which is unsurprising considering that Tom Holland is a part of it. There's a part of me that wants to love this movie and give it the best rating I can, but the movie's just not that good. It's not terrible by any means. All of the actors did an absolutely phenomenal job given what they were given. The movie feels very well paced. There are no moments that feel super rushed or that bog down the overall pacing of this film. The movie as a whole is fairly good, but there's just something that drags it down in my mind 
that makes it feel like it could have been a lot better. And I don't know what that is. I can't tell you what that is, what Dake's movie probably could have done to make itself better. Because I think they did the best that they could with what they had. Because of the fact that Uncharted is a video game franchise, you are very limited in what you're able to do storytelling wise with a film. They could have straight up adapted one of the games into a movie. And that would not have worked in any capacity because it never works when you try to adapt a game verbatim. The entire reason that it doesn't work is because you're taking a story that was originally meant for people to be able to interact with and mess around in, and you are taking that and changing it into a narrative that we now have to follow. So the best course of action that you can do if you're adapting a work of a video game into a film take that game and tell your own story with its characters that could be set within its timeline theoretically if you want to or make your own story with the characters that feels true but outside of the main events of the series and that's what i think this movie did this movie took the characters that you know from uncharted and put them into their own timeline with their own story that they are telling with these characters i think again i've never played the uncharted games. Because it is a video game movie, I feel like it was hampered by the fact that these characters already existed, so anyone knowing these characters going in is going to feel potentially disappointed by how they are portrayed in this film if you don't agree with 100% of the decisions that they make. Personally, I think that is a rather big disappointment because overall this movie is extremely entertaining, especially if you just want a film where you can shut your brain off and watch it. This movie is nothing spectacular. I'm not going to tell you that this is the greatest film of all time and that you need to go out and watch it right now. But if you are a fan of Uncharted and you would like to see this movie, I personally would recommend at least giving it a shot because it is a decently entertaining flick. Video game movies have been going up in quality since about the 2018 Tomb Raider film. That is, I think, the jump when these movies started getting better, when they realized that they had to tell stories outside of their video games. And I think that the video game movies are only going to get better and better from here. But at the end of the day, this movie is not something that a lot of people are going to keep going back to and rewatching over and over and over. This movie feels like something that is going to get turned on when you have nothing else to watch or if you come across it on TV. I will say that it was fun to watch. It's not a bad movie by any means. I just feel there are things that they could have done better in the film, and that's really hard for me to point out where and how I think they could have done better. One uh, thing real quick before I get to my final score of the film. Uh, there's actually a cameo by Nolan North in the movie. Really funny. Basically, they tell him what they just did in the film, and his response is, Oh, something similar happened to me once. Which I think is the greatest callback they could have done with Nolan North in the film. Uh, plus, I just thought it was really funny that the original voice actor for Nathan Drake is in the movie, and we get to actually see him. That, that was just great. That, that was really funny. So with everything about this movie, the acting being extremely good given the material that the actors had to work with, the story actually being pretty good in my personal opinion, and the vibe feeling like Uncharted, both the gameplay that footage that I've seen and the fan film a couple years ago starring Nathan Fillion. This movie did feel like Uncharted to me. Again, I don't actually have a ton of experience playing these games. But for me, overall, with everything to take into account, for me, this movie only rolls a 12. Yes, I found it entertaining. Yeah, I found it a very fun film to watch in the moment. But thinking back on it, there's not a ton for people to go back to with this movie. And ultimately, I think that's to its detriment at the end of the day. So at the end of the day, for me, a movie is something that you either can go back to time and time again to rewatch and enjoy anew, find something else in it or just that can bring you joy or it needs to be something that you can take a lesson away from because if you can't take anything away from a movie or you can't rewatch that movie just for a good time you're going to forget about that film's existence and ultimately I think that's going to be what happens to Uncharted. I don't think people are going to remember it very well in a couple of years and I don't think even with the sequel hook that we have at the end it's going to ever see a second film. This movie is above average. I will give it that. It is very good for a video game movie but at the end of the day it is still a video game adaptation film and ultimately that hampers it. So would I recommend you go see Uncharted? If you, especially if you are a fan of the video games, I would say yes. At least give this movie a go and let me know how you thought about it. But 
for me, at the end of the day, I think Uncharted is just going to be a flash in the pan film that most people aren't going to remember within a couple of years. Hey, I hope that you all enjoyed that review of Uncharted from me. Any thoughts that you guys have about the film at all, please leave them in the comments below and let me know what you thought about it because, again, having not played Uncharted, I can't really give a ton of personal thought process on the film itself as to how close it is to the games or which would be more entertaining, I'm assuming the games. With all that, if you would like to follow me on any of my socials, links to all of that are going to be in the description down below, and I hope that you all have an absolutely fantastic day. Peace!